welcome back we are in online video lecture series on digital signal processing and we are doing analog butterworth filter design digital butterworth filter design in iar that is infinite response okay and the last answer what we got was h of z and i just took a small example what is that h of z uh, it is a program i told program is nothing but flow chart i told very simple draw the flow chart this is the question please do remember draw the flow chart but in the question they will say realization of filter okay realization of filter especially ir filter is this problem by uh, direct form 1 and 2 okay realization of filter is nothing but draw the flow chart nothing else okay so two techniques i am going to teach you one by one okay one is directly drawing the diagram other one is converting to the equation and do the diagram so both are based on the marks only i can say so if they give h of z let us take this as y of z by x of z is nothing but 1 minus 3 z inverse divided by 1 plus 2 z inverse and you should know this belongs to zeros this belongs to poles and the poles are responsible for stability and the poles are responsible for infinite don't try to forget this okay poles are responsible for infinite so denominator is infinite numerator is finite i mean since denominator is there it leads to infinite loop that is nothing but i very long back in the introduction i told y of n minus 1 repeating repeating i am going to that concept cross multiply so y of z into 1 plus 2 z inverse x of z into 1 minus 3 z inverse multiply inside y of z plus 2 z inverse y of z equal to x of z minus 3 z inverse x of z take inverse z transform the result will be y of n let me do it here okay y of n plus 2 oy of n minus 1 because n inverse is delay uh, equal to x of n minus 3 x of n minus 1 okay keep this oy of n bring the term this side then oy of n is equal to x of n minus 3 x of n minus 1 if you bring this term that side minus 2 oy of n minus 1 okay so this is what the answer we got good is it a difference equation yes carefully listen my dear in the question paper they can give this ask you to draw the direct form 1 and 2 or they can give the difference equation and ask you to draw the diagram 1 and 2 both are one and the same so if it is the case they may give like this you convert okay like this it is now if they give this you can draw the diagram if you give this draw the diagram we'll leave it that story will leave is it denominator is poles yes sir is it denominator this two is this two yes sir then is it the pole yes sir so please do take care this is nothing but the pole and do you know this whole term is responsible for infinity we discussed very long back am i right past value past value that knowledge you should have and if this is the case then can i say denominator is y term yes sir numerator is x term yes sir the denominator first term is this term am i right oy of n what about this term x of n what about this term x of n minus what about this term oy of n minus this is all fundamental knowledge keep it in mind anyhow oy is one you now you understood because it should be oy of n if it is 3 oy of n there is no meaning okay what is the output equal to always the solution is output equal to how much Three output equal to how much? Meaning yes. So if it is term three, you should divide everywhere by three. That is the reason I told. Okay. Keep it pending. Now, if you are ready with this particular equation, if you convert and bring this equation, so what is this particular diagram? Always there is a box. Input is x of n. You know. Output is y of n. You know. Inside is program. program is nothing but a flow chart flow chart is nothing but direct form that is the discussion okay recap who is input x of n who is output y of n 
Now tell me, output depends on x of n, one term. x of n minus 1, next term. y of n minus 1, next term. Carefully, my dear. Output depends on three terms. Output depends on three terms. But I told already, this term is responsible for infinity. So, 3a infinity terms, infinity. So, he will keep on repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, then, then, what is the first term? Output y of n is the first term. Go, x of n is going as it is. Okay, this is over. Okay, x of n is over. Okay, x of n is going as it is. Now, I am going to draw the diagram. What is the second term? x of n. And it is delayed. Okay, so, we will take this x of n. And let us put a delay. Z inverse is nothing but a delay. Or D if you are right. It's left D. Delay. Now, who is entering here? X of n. Now, it become X of n minus 1. Okay. But is it X of n minus 1 or multiplied minus 3? Okay. Multiply. Now, that is called multiply. This is minus 3. Okay. This has some diagrams you have to do. And that term is added with the previous term. Okay. Added with the previous term. That's all. So, who is going here? X of n, this term. Who is going here? X of n, become X of n minus 1, become minus 3 X of n minus 1, add it. Okay, this is ready. Okay. So, diagram. So, always you are going to have three terms. One is delay element, multiplayer element, addition element. Okay. And what about this Y of n minus 1? It is a finite or infinite? Infinite, which means repeating. Okay. So, this will enter here. Take a delay, careful listen, my dear. Careful listen. If it is forward, it is x. If it is backward, it is y. I am repeating. Forward, it is x. If it is backward, it is y. Okay, who is he? Forward, it is x term. Now I need y term. Y term means backward. Y you will see it. So now it is y term. It is delay. I made a delay. Multiply. How much? Minus 2. Try to add. Sir, why sir there is a speciality with weight term? Come on, listen. There is one term is going up. Over. There is one more term will go on. Ready. There is one more term will go. That is the last one. But it won't go and finish it. It will enter. Again enter. Again enter. Again enter. Again enter. How many times? Infinite. So, this loop is nothing but recursive okay recursive loop so try to carefully listen x of n direct path x of n minus 1 delay forward path delay backward path okay so totally three terms carefully listen my dear this is direct path delay forward delay backward okay Direct path, delay forward, delay backward. Okay, that is the idea. So, this is your direct form 1. Now, I am going to draw direct form 2. Very simple idea, listen carefully. Who is this term? Direct path. Very good, sir. Output is very rough. Delay forward, delay backward. Whenever you draw direct form 2, try to take the delay from the center. This side forward, this side backward, this side x, this side y. So who is he? X group, forward group, multiplied by minus 3, add. This is backward, multiplied by minus 2, add. So that's all. That is what I doing. Okay. It's one of the simplest technique. So direct form 2 means take from the center, forward, backward okay x group y group that's what i'm doing okay so this is the simplest analysis try to just copy down this particular diagram so let us do another problem question is same realize in direct form one and two okay so if you want to just do cross multiplication and then it will be y of z by x of z equal to 2 minus 2 z inverse divided by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse plus 0.3 z power minus 2 cross multiply y of z minus 0.5 z inverse y of z plus 0.3 z power minus 2 y of z equal to 2 x of z 
minus 2 z inverse x of n. Okay. So if you take inverse z transform uh, y of n minus 0 0.5 y of n minus 1 plus 0 0.3 y of n minus 2 equal to 2x of n minus 2x of n minus 1. So if you shuffle these two terms that side, so the result y of n is equal to, let us first write x term, 2x of n minus 2x of n minus 1, then this term plus 0.5 y of n minus 1, then under term minus 0.3 y of n minus 2. Okay, please do remember these two terms when it goes that side, sign is changing. Minus 0.5 become plus 0.5. Plus 0.3 plus minus 0.3. So please do remember denominator terms sign is changing. That is the super idea. We will see that later. Okay. So anyhow, yeah. Now I would like to draw direct form 1 and 2. Okay. So whenever you see x term, draw a straight path. Input is x, output is y. I am going to draw direct form 1. If it is direct form 2, take delay from the center. If it is direct from 1, this side and that side. Okay. This is x, this is y. Okay. So this 2, let us not bother. We will see the theta. Let us go here. x delay, so forward. Put a delay, forward. What is the multiplier? Minus 2. Add. So this is over. What about these two? First delay, second delay. Both are white. So backward. So take a delay, backward multiplier another delay backward multiplier so this is y of n minus 1 this is y of n minus 2 so 0.5 and this is minus 0.3 and this straight to add here and this straight to add here if you want directly also you can add okay so this is x of n ready this is x of n minus 1 forward term y of n minus 1 backward term, another backward term 0.5 and 0.3. This two, okay, this is x group forward group, y group backward group. This two belongs to x group forward, just put a multiplier 2, that's all, okay, more than enough, okay, that is the extra one term, okay. So this is your direct form 1. Now before doing direct form 2, I am going to train you one more technique. You can draw this term directly. How numerator is x forward 2 delay. Denominator is y backward. Who you see? First delay backward, change the sign. Second delay backward, change the sign. This is your output. Okay. Like this also you can draw. Okay. If you are talented enough. Will I, say, I will convert this to equation. Then I will draw. It is left to you. Okay. Carefully listen here. I am going to do that. So direct path. Input is x of n, output is y of n. Okay. Who is this two? Direct path, multiplier 2. Next, who is this term? X numerator, x term, forward delay. Okay. Forward delay. Who? Multiplier minus 2. Ready. This is first term. This is first term, second term in the numerator. Now these two are backward. So take a delay. Another delay. This is second delay multiplier. This is first delay multiplier. Okay. So first delay multiplier change the sign 0 0.5. Second delay multiplier change the sign minus 0.3. Okay. Try to add. Try to add. So who is this term here? Change the sign. Who is this term here? Change the sign. Who is this term? Who is this term? Forward. Who is this term? Direct. That's all. Okay. So I can do the same work here. Uh, x of n, y of n. So take the delay from the center because it is direct form 2. Take the delay from the center. Uh, I need two delays as the maximum. So let me take one more delay. Okay. I will start from this side. Second delay backward. Second delay backward. So backward. What is the value? Minus 0 0.3. Change the sign. First delay backward. First delay backward because denominator is backward. Change the sign plus 0.5. Okay, this is over. Who is this one output O F N? Okay. Second delay backward, first delay backward, output. 
first delay forward okay first delay forward don't change the sign numerator is as it is okay ready who is this term direct path 2 that is x group this is backward y group forward x group so here there is a term 2 okay just add and here you add and here you add that's all okay if you want to make the arrow mark nothing wrong about that okay so this is your direct form 1 is here and the direct form 2 is there okay so sometimes they will give the question like this most of the time they are giving question like this if they give the question like this draw the diagram directly if the question give the question like this you can draw the directly also or you use inverse z transform and you can draw okay so that is the end of your ir filter design thank you